Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, today what we're going to be doing is starting this baby for the first time. Um, I didn't do a video of the oiling of the uh, air filter because it's pretty straightforward. If you can see here, you got the blue there now. That's from the Antman Racing uh, Blue Air Fill Oil. Um, I haven't done the outside bit because apparently you meant to leave it as it is. Uh, it's got all the batteries now installed, ready to go. Um, there's no fuel in the tank yet and I've also got my uh, spark plug fitted now as well which is the standard one which they said which is the A4 uh, rated uh, glow plug so I've already got my fuel uh, already filled in into my uh, bottle and this is the fuel that I said I was going to use which is the uh, monster nitro juice at 16% which is ideal for running in right so what I'm going to do is going to put the fuel in first before I turn the uh, vehicle on so all we do is just lift up that flap and just fill it in. I'm going to be doing about five tanks today to get this thing uh, running. So we'll see how it goes. Okay. It's pretty much as much as it's going to get in there. Don't want to fit it up too much. Put the stopper on in case I knock it over. Right. I don't know how this is going to respond starting it because uh, obviously I've never done this before on this specific vehicle. Um, and each vehicle's uh, slightly different. Uh, another note, just to show you, I've uh, put the stopper on there as well, um, so it doesn't get all greasy and that on the wheels and that when it's running really rich. And I've got a nice little bench for it to sit on, so the wheels can move freely um, if I increase the throttle, because obviously the clutch will kick in um, and then start turning it. So it's all on there now, all nice and freely moving, nice and solid. So what we're gonna do next is turn on the transmitter Always do this first, never the car first. Okay, turn that on, which is on now. Make sure it's on the actual proper right model, which I've tuned it in for. And if you can see, don't know if you can see, it's got a bug written on it. Just so I know that this vehicle, I did change the name in the end. And obviously do a check, it's got 11.6 volts, which is perfect as well. So now I know I've got enough power to do um, this running and go from there. Now turn the model on, I'm just gonna turn it on here. Now what I'm going to do is do a quick test to make sure everything's responding. So I'll do my left, my uh, steering. So if I put it this way, so when I turn left, it should, the wheel should go left. And when I turn right, it should go right. So we've got nice freedom movement there. And now with the throttle. So what I'm going to do is make sure that this throttle then moves outwards when I pull it. And then this goes um, outwards as well for the brakes to make sure the brakes are working. So now I know my model's uh, ready to go. So what I'm going to do is leave the... Uh, control down there for a minute. I'm not going to put any sort of throttle on it first of all. Uh, we're going to see if it starts on its own without uh, any sort of uh, response from myself. Now there's two ways of getting the fuel to go into the carburetor because obviously we need to prime it first. Uh, one way that someone's told me that you can do is putting your finger over the exhaust and then, and then turning the uh, engine over and that sometimes can suck the fuel in. See, as you can see there, if you can bring the camera closer, you can see the fuel's coming through now. This is easier than, um, you just want to do one or two pulls like that, just little ones. A lot of people also say is uh, disconnecting the pipe from the exhaust and actually blowing through it, putting pressure into your fuel tank, which then corresponds by putting fuel down the line into your engine. I'm gonna leave it primed as it is with about a couple of strokes, like I just did, and now we're gonna go and try and start it. Um, so here we go, I've got my Asman Racing uh, 1800 uh, glow plug starter uh, heater which you saw in my previous videos. So what we're going to do is put this on now. So that's on, that should still be, that should start uh, glowing up the, end, uh, the glow plug for us. And now I'm going to have to hold the model and fingers crossed obviously we're going to see if this thing can actually start. Um, I have no idea how to hold this because this is obviously never done it before. I think I'll just hold it by right down there. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Okay, um, here we go. Oh, might have a hydraulic lock here, I'm not sure. Oh, nearly started. Okay, now what I'm going to have to do is uh, my brother, who's the cameraman, I'm going to have to give him the controller. 
And what I want you to do is put a slight bit of throttle, just a slight bit. You can see there when it slightly moves. Not less than that. Okay, just a slight little bit of throttle. Because I can't do that and hold the model at the same time. All right, you ready? Yeah. Okay, well that's a good sign, it started. So, you got the throttle the same again? Yep. Yeah. Okay, right, what we need to do is increase the fuel. So, if you can bring the camera a bit closer. Here you got your idle screw. Uh, sorry, your idle screw, your fuel mixer screw. So what we're going to do, is we're going to turn it out, quarter of a turn, always do small increments. That's all you need to do. Nothing more, nothing less. And then we'll give it a try again. See if we can get it started. All right, you ready? That's a lot better, isn't it? Okay, right, as you saw, we're not actually getting much smoke coming out the engine. So we need to richen it a little bit more. So we do another quarter of a turn. Okay, let's try again. Okay, the engine's not liking that, so what we do is we turn it in again a bit more. Quarter of a turn, back in. We'll try that again. Okay, all right, hold on. Oops, things coming off of the uh, stand now. Always a pain starting the vehicle for the very first time, always. Hold on a minute, I've uh, knocked the controller by accident here. Sorry, let me just quickly get it back out of mode. Okay, right, that's back, back to normal. Right, let's try again. Right, what I'm going to do is get my brother to do a little bit more throttle again. See if we can induce with a tiny bit of throttle. That's it. Keep it there, right? A little bit, no, don't let it conk out, so a little bit more, yeah? Ready again? Yeah. A little bit more. can't hear me very well, but what I'm trying to do is increase the mixture to try and get a nice steady blue smoke to come out of the exhaust. Then we know it's running rich. Sorry, that's my bad. Um, I accidentally cut off the air supply from the exhaust, trying to take this tube off. I'm just taking this off for a minute, just so I can get to see uh, the exhaust smoke a little bit easier and boy does it stink Right, let's try this again. Probably not the best way to let stand which is right by the exhaust, but You know here we go. Right. You got the throttle ready You got the throttle ready. Yep. Okay, let's try again Oh, excuse me Right, a little bit more throttle. It's not going to work. Right, we'll try again. So I'm trying to get it to keep rich and try and get it to idle, you see. Uh, right, let's try again. It's a trial and error. Um, I'm trying to show you as much video and experience that I'm receiving from this vehicle. Um, what I can do is set it up, then do a video when it's running fine, but then that doesn't give you any sort of knowledge uh, on how to set up the car itself. So I'm trying to do it and show you all the difficulties that I'm having and I'm experiencing on the first time I'm trying to start this vehicle. Okay, 
So what we do is we try again. Right, if you've got your throttle a little bit, too much mic, reduce it. If you, when you're doing a video, if you look here, if you let go of the throttle, see where it is and then move it slightly. That's it. So you can keep an eye on that while I try and start it. So let's try again. Well, 